I thought that was me mean the one who will be the first child of this game, but but no, he 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 won't. He's gone directly with Olimar and Vortex Mario. It's like to seeing Dark Wizzy again the bus for something. I mean, you know, Mexicans are are, are godlike in this in these picks. And now we have quickly an uh, uh, Ultrajin Cosa. I mean, both of them. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, the trap oh. block. No, did not make did not make it. Look at that. Alright. No, nothing. I mean Vortex, it's a it's an aggressive player. And Koza What? Whoa! Did the did the force mesh reach Koza from there? Man that as I said, that's knowing your cha your character pretty good, no nah, Duko? Yeah, this this match start in an explosive way. I like how how both players looking for a lot of combos, a lot of percentage, but now they are looking for that kill, looking for that first stock. Let's see who can take it first. It's gonna be Kosa or it's gonna be Vortex and that backer is gonna be enough to take this first stock. Kosa is now on the lead. Let's see what Vortex can do to do something, I don't know, to change the stuff, but not enough. Kosa is gonna do a little bit of damage, 38%. Really good for this stock. No, I don't know. Costa is not able to complete the jalak, but <laughs> he. I like how he used the the Pikmin as a shield, so he can he, he can exploit the the sweet box hitbox. And now the greatest stage of advantage that Costa has is pretty critical. There are nothing, and the regrab did not work. But down smash, he practically dance on on Koza's face. Okay, let's see. Finally, Vortex can take the stock and look look for take this on on the tie. Well, on looking on an even situation, but Koza is facing well during those. No, Pikmin. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had the blue you know? Pikmin. He had the blue Pikmin there, so he could take with the throw. All right, now Koza is in the lead with one stock ahead, and he's dealing too much damage. Now he has the purple and the white Pikmin. You know, uh, a damage dealing machine now is, has Olimar become Duko. Okay, careful. There's a whiff over there, and Koza is gonna do well to punish that 91%, and it might take the stock. With, yeah, that wave, that mare, that fair from Vortex, it was all, it was, you know, you, you saw the consequences about that. And Kosa is gonna take this first game on Pokemon Stadium 2. Really, really fun matchup to watch. Yeah, it was pretty fast. I mean, Kosa, once he has the lead, he didn't make Vortex to do anything. Now, there's not gonna be any change from them. Called Olimar and Mario, but for some reason, I think he's not choose, he's not picking up with Donkey Kong because he, as we said, is the same case as really is Big Pinata, and the damage that he can be taken practically cancels the the vortex play with Donkey Kong. So Mario, it has a better mobility as a smaller a smaller herbux and he and he can do a more more combo game like that all right we have started again with the ladder combos but nothing can be completed after that 29 49 both characters on the center of the stage and now the control goes for for vortex but but kosa is not able to 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 get a to get a chase yet Duko, and that is struggling a bit and i think look at that the, the greatest mistake that, that Vortex is commitment is to to left the center of the stage. I mean Kosa is not entering and he keeps staying on the on the ledges. On the, but wow man. Uh, for never, never mind, he's he's going too good with that. For now we we've seen uh, a really good looking from Kosa on this first talk. Doing a lot of damage, doing a lot of combos, playing uh, really good neutral in See, oh, down tilts, doing something. Careful because that former smash would be something. But didn't connect. You no, know, Kosa is moving really well, doing a lot of stuff with those Pikmin. And careful because now this is the second stop from Vortex, and he has now a hundred and nine percent. Wait, what? He, he, he doesn't have stock anymore. 
Yeah, I I think the greatest vortex mistake is to gain higher on on Cosa. I mean, Cosa is still he's jumping, but he's jumping using the the short hop. He he can reach the ground faster. And once that vortex try to to punish him, he's the one who got punished. Look at that, 21 percentage with only one pigment, and the purple pigment making damage again. Look at. I don't know how Kosa changes his strategy with the pigments that he has, but now he has a third, a third of pigment with, with more damage. I mean, the purple, the white, and the red are the most hurtful pigment for him. And he's taking now with up the 100 percentage, Duko. Okay. Now, Bortis with that last stock and, and really red numbers, really dangerous situation. But Kosa. No, he, he takes um, so much advantage in this match, but careful, Vortex doing something over there, that poor smash didn't connect, you know, um, I, I saw this last week from Vortex, he, he, he sometimes tries to do a random forward smash, and it works, so it worked for him, but not this time, nope. there's a back air, and Koss is going to take game two, and really explosive. Yeah, very explosive game because Vortex was, as I said, leaving the ground so much. Kosa with his with his multiple Charles was taking control to the stage pretty quick. And Vortex, as most stylish as he liked to see, he just was he was gotten punished so much. Why? Only Kosa was chasing jumps, chasing landings, chasing jumps, and making the most damage he could make. But playing safe, that is important from, from Kosa's game. And it's a characteristic that has put him on the map. It's place, it's safe play style. And there's players, well, looking for something. I think they're going to play the same matchup, Mario against um, against Limar. I don't know, I see, I see in, uh, Vortex dominant a little bit. But no, he's going to stick with Mario until the last one. It could be... Potentially the last game of this one if was I keep playing like this because it's looking really strong here Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it about but as you said too those Pikmin's are making a lot of damage on Mario Even if Olimar is not close 49 against 21. I mean the play game the style the play style that Kosa has is a playstyle that focus on whatever I'm throwing to you and after that I can deal my own damage 47 against 96 and Vortex for Mossy he wants to get a, a hard punish or a hard read he's at least he's gotten that 71 against 96 and look at that there we go the the, the random forward smash but Koza he's taking he's taking a better control on the stage I mean he's not even taking to the center but he's controlling the stage completely. If not with the Pikmin, at least with, with his own little... What? Oh, bro. He he calculated for the spike. And now, I don't know what kind of... A mental breakdown will take Vortex now on Duko. Okay, let's see. Now Vortex. Well, he, he's, trying, he's struggling a little bit to take some damage. Or even the stock from Cosa. But let's see what he can do over there. Careful with those backers. Doing something on the ledge, making a little bit of pressure. And Kosa really good on the punish game. He recognized that follow-up smash from Vortex. And still doing that. Still punish well. And careful again. Trying to do something with the grab. But finally, no. I thought that the backer, it was going to be all for Kosa first stock. Kosa has a lot of damage on its own. But for some point, looks like there we go. It's overthrust. Take the first cause of stock in this third game, Duko. One. What? He did again? Ooh. Man, I don't know if he actually two frames. But whatever he's doing, he has a pretty spike calculation. Wait, no! Hey. The cake took him down in low percentage. Wow, that was, that was a, a smart play from Vortex, Duko. Yeah, Vortex goes all the way with the cape and again doing something with that side B. Okay, doing a little bit of damage. 
Well, uh, for what I'm seeing, that was a... Uh... It was a little shocking even for Cosa because Luke losing a stock like that, well, he left uh, a, a mental breakdown. 70, 48 against 100, but nope. Yeah, I mean, even with that, wasn't enough. Wasn't enough to break Cosa down, and well, a trio has happened at this uh, at the top eight. Yeah, this is the first trio that we saw here. Uh, no, this is the second reel, actually. The first one was Javi against Swain. But Cosa and Vortex, well, 3-0. Cosa is going to face Laudi now on the loser bracket. And also we have Swain against Search. I think that is going to be the next match. Mm. Swain and Search, Inter interesting. We It would be a really fun matchup to watch. You know, 